a good time, so count it down! Ten, Ten nine, nine, eight, eight seven, six, five, four. What up, TK family? Welcome back to another vlog for the vlog channel. We are so excited to do like a vlog miss kind of thing <laughs> on a cruise. Uh huh. So today we are actually on day one, and we have seven days of total cruise days, and we're gonna be vlogging every single day and uploading them for you guys, just like we did yep. on Vlogmas. Yep. We do have Ooh. the Miss Talkie right here. Girly here. Ah. Yeah. Talkative baby. She just ate, so she got some stains on her clothing, and she's about to get in the shower, actually, or her little bath. Her little bath. Actually, oh my gosh, I am so excited. I have so much to show you guys. First of all, I unpacked everything and organized everything so good in our room, so Cameron will show you that. And then also, I feel like I really <coughs> set us... <laughs> I feel like I really set us up good in here for like making Kyla's oh. night routine as like much as close as home kind of. So um, yeah, we're gonna show you guys all that. And then do you wanna tell them about who's also on this trip with us? So my mom is here and then my friend is here as well. Mm -hmm. um, so we're gonna have dinner. My mom's actually gonna be in the room with Kyla. So Kyla stays in her routine at night. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna go out to eat. My mom's eating right now. Mm -hmm. um, and then me, Trisha, and my friend's gonna go out to eat. And then after that, we're probably gonna go to the we got casino, and we also got Limelight Cub, which is gonna yeah. be like crazy. I don't yeah. know if I'm recording there, but like we'll see what happens. Yeah, I'm just excited to have the experience of like still being able to go out at night while we have a baby. You know what I mean? Because Cameron and I didn't get a baby moon, or we didn't go on a baby moon, and we just feel really grateful that Cam's mom was able to come on here with us. So that this way, we can actually have some like alone adult time, much needed alone time. Okay. So. Yeah, let's do like a little like room tour situation because it's nighttime now um, and we'll show you. She's chewing on my bra. Kyla. <laughs> yeah, you know what's crazy? We actually um, have done the intro for our main channel yeah. on our secret family vacation, which this is. Mm -hmm. um, we're on a cruise, guys. Yeah, we were and teasing you guys for mad long too. We have been. We actually met a supporter mm -hmm. when we went to guest services on the cruise. So mm -hmm. that's crazy because in the intro for that video, I was like, we might meet one of you guys on here. You guys, you know what I'm saying? The supporters mm -hmm. might be on the cruise. Oh yeah, and, and later. it's crazy. We met one and mm -hmm. I think one was shy to say anything, so. Yeah. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we're gonna show you guys exactly what we got going on in our room, mm -hmm. how Trisha set up everything, and then we're gonna get Kyla in bed because we gotta get ready for dinner. Mm -hmm. Hi guys, so this is actually where our bed is, mm -hmm. and we do have behind those curtains is the balcony, so we can see the water and everything. Right. And then we did uh, request a in-room crib because you guys already know that Cameron and I, we have Kyla sleep in her pack and play at home. So what we're planning on doing is putting her in this crib while at least we're not in the room, while it's just Cameron's mom and her. So that this way, like if Cam's mom falls asleep or something like that, at least Kyla's like in safe sleep. So we have that right here. And then we have Kyla's stroller right here. Her toys. I tried to organize this as much as possible, but I mean, we're in like small quarters, whatever. Then we have all of Kyla's accessories and like first aid stuff in here. We have all of Kyla's bathing suits and clothes. Then we have some of just mommy's accessories and whatnot. Then over here, we do have Kyla's diaper changing station. So I found these disposable diaper changing pails on Amazon. They're by the brand Munchkin and they just are super convenient. They like house the smell. So I always bring those when we go on trips. And then we have a full sleep of di uh, diapers over there. This little changing station. Then over here, we have a bunch of baby food packets and teethers. These are Kyla's favorite. And then here's where like I keep her formula and just like her feeding type stuff. And we ordered like a bunch of bottles of water to the room. So that this way when she does have her formula bottles, that's all good to go. Then I organized all of Cam's clothes in here. So Cameron is the type to just literally open up a suitcase, throw his stuff. No, it just wasn't happening for Yo. this trip. So I hung up everything for him. We have his pants here, his comfy stuff. We have like our electronics and stuff and then all of his shoes. 
beach bags, all that good stuff. Yeah, Trisha and Curry's, I'm not gonna lie. I'm typically, like she said, I'm not like this, guys. Like, yeah. I don't do all this, but you know what I'm saying? It's gonna make things a lot easier and piece things yeah. together. Like and, easier, so. and not only that, we don't usually go on this long of trips. Like, we're gonna be on here for eight days, seven nights. So, it's like we need to be organized, especially with the baby stuff. It can get hectic in here, and I just, my OCD needs to like. Then over here, I have all of my clothes and accessories. So I just have my stuff, and then I love the way I organize my shoes. So cute. It's a little tight in here, but pretty much I have like my hair stuff and all my toiletries up here. Just my makeup brushes. This is all of cam stuff. We have our little diaper changing station, or not diaper changing station, our bottle washing station right here. Um, and I have my makeup and just like wipes and tampons and stuff down here. And then I found that tub on Amazon. So this way Kyla can actually still have her full baths while we're on the boat. Hey guys, so it's pretty much how our room is set up for me and Trisha mm -hmm. and Kyla to operate for these days that are coming up. Yay! But we are gonna get Kyla ready for bed. Mm -hmm. And it's actually crazy because this is a vacation that the three of us are on and we really want to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. But we also still want to be able to, you know, get the content for you guys so you guys yeah. can see like what we have going on and still be able to post you guys for this year of 2024. Like I said before, 2024 is gonna be completely different for me mm -hmm. and Trisha and Kyla. Um, we're really gonna put more of the foot to the pedal and try to get as much as content as we can get for you guys mm -hmm. out this year mm -hmm. um, and going above beyond what we did in 2023. Yeah. So we're gonna get here ready for bed and then we're gonna get ourselves ready for dinner. Uh. All right guys, so it is the next day. Um, we did not end out yesterday. It is day two and we're gonna get a full day. Um, yesterday was just more so us trying to get um, comfortable in the room and make sure everything was set up mm -hmm. and we were also trying to figure out how our days is going to be like corresponding with having Kyla on a cruise and stuff like that so we were able to get <clears throat> everything in the room situated and then we were trying to put Kyla to sleep after the room tour and everything and she was taking forever to go to sleep so we wound up just leaving with my mom here watching Kyla mm -hmm. and it, we left to go to dinner at 10 p.m. so yeah. we weren't able to get like good good food mm -hmm. like but we went to this one spot that was doing small proportions like we got this shrimp scampi mm -hmm. and it was literally like two pieces three pieces of linguine in the pot with six shrimp like yeah. it was the most weirdest like restaurant ever it was giving like appetizer portions yeah exactly that's exactly what it was it was like mm -hmm. the entrees were appetizer proportions almost mm -hmm. like nobu if you ever been to nobu right right but in the next vlog as you guys will see in day two which is right now for us mm -hmm. we'll be doing more you guys want to see a lot more um of the vlog of the day we want to be able to show more so right now we are actually about to probably go to the candy shop or maybe even go out mm. to the pool and chill out there with Kyla for a little because we don't want her to be out there too long like too long because of the sun UV like strength UVs. and whatever the UV rays and whatnot though, so. Yeah, but we're gonna go head out there and we're gonna be vlogging way more than we did in the first day. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, we'll catch you guys in the next vlog. We love you guys so much. It's time to start up that vlog for you guys. Yep. And then on day three, we'll be reaching our first island. We love you guys so much, and we'll catch you guys on day two. Peace.